Welcome to another video from DIY Daily. Just got a short video today showing you how to reset the service light on this 2006 Mercedes SLK. Now it's quite a straightforward reset on these. What we're going to use, I'll just show you what buttons we're going to use first. We're going to need to use the plus and the minus for scrolling on the dash there. And we're going to use the up and the down here as well. Use this button for confirming. And we're going to use the little R button on the side of the dash here as well. Now if we just, uh, there's a couple of different procedures to this that work on the, on some of the different models so i'll just run you through the one for this first now what you need to start with is just turn the ignition to stage one the first click on the key there and if you use the little buttons uh, the up arrow there you can just cycle through and you want to get to where it says just the mileage on the dash there once that's up press the r button there three times You get the voltage display. Then press the down arrow, and that will then bring up your service menu. Now we can use the minus button there to scroll down. And if we get to confirmation, and then press and hold the button on the left here. Sorry, just press it, and that will give you some options there. And you can let's say in full service there. Then we'll press the button again. And that's confirmed the service there. So if we now turn the ignition off, there, turn the ignition back on, and if we cycle through this time with the uh, down arrows, you can see that's now been reset. Next service is service C, due in 9,320 miles. So that's all reset. Now, what I was on about earlier on with a different procedure, uh, mo the, most of the ones that I've done have the procedure that I've run through, but some of them have a different procedure to get to the service menu. Uh, and that other procedure is just to turn the ignition on to stage two, so two clicks on the key, and then you would cycle through with the down arrows there to where you get to where it says your service due, which would be that one there. And then you press and hold the R button until the menu changes on the dash and it will come up with your service menu there, which you could then scroll down to confirm your service. But so most of the ones that I've done, uh, just the same reset that I've run through the first time. So. Hope the video helped. If it did, give it a quick thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.